date, we just closed our 50 millionth ledger. So that's 50 million ledgers closed without an issue, so it is, it is uh, proven over time. And another important thing is the difference between proof of work and these distributed agreement protocols like the XRP ledger uses is that distributed uh, agreement protocols are more predictable. They have a somewhat predictable cadence. So XRP ledgers tend to close about every four seconds and they're pretty consistent in that. Bitcoin blocks produced every 10 minutes, but you can have an hour with no block or you can have two blocks produced at the same time because it is a probabilistic process. Um, distributed agreement protocols are not probabilistic. Um, XRP is available on more than 125 exchanges, but I want to get into the technical stuff. That's what you guys are interested in. And some of the technical innovations in XRP um, are on the slide here. Uh, when XRP came out, really all there was was Bitcoin. There was not the explosion of different agreement protocols, not the explosion of different digital assets. And I think we had three core early technological innovations. So one of them was replacing proof of work with federated Byzantine agreement, which essentially means people agree on which transactions to execute and when. Uh, we'll talk a lot more about that later. Another innovation was that transactions operate on views. So you don't operate on the ledger directly, you sort of operate on a view of that ledger. And that's extremely important because when a transaction finishes executing, what it produces is a, is a view, a view that contains modifications. And what that means is that that modified view can be analyzed for violations of system rules. This is extremely important because an enormous number of failures in the blockchain space can be prevented with this type of system. Um, many of you probably don't know Bitcoin had a famous fork in 2013 the, that caused some people to suffer losses. And the more, more, probably more well known to many of you is the attack on the DAO, on the Ethereum protocol, that resulted in people losing money as money was stolen from the DAO that they had to split over. Um, what happens in the XRP ledger is when a transaction finishes executing, it makes sort of a recipe of the changes that it's going to make. And those changes can be checked to see whether they comply with system rules. So for example, if you tell me, well, I don't want people to be able to create XRP, it would be an awful answer if I said, well, look at the code of the XRP ledger, all you know, 80,000 lines of code, and you'll see there's no way to create an XRP. Unless What's up, my millionaires, billionaires, trillionaires that's entering this crypto space, I welcome you to this channel. Millionaires will be made. You will become a millionaire. You may become a billionaire. You may as well turn into a trillionaire. XRP price right now is at $1.16. Prominent crypto analyst predicts XRP could hit the $10 cycle, this cycle. And that's like family with all these bags that we have been storing away with XRP. These prices that we will see with us stuffing our bags. It will be worth the journey. Prominent cryptocurrency analyst and well-known XRP bull credible crypto has revealed he believes the price of cryptocurrency could surge past the $10 mark this cycle as the cryptocurrency is currently undergoing a consolidation period. That consolidation period, he says, could lead to a significant expansion once it's over. The analyst pointed out... <clears throat> that the cryptocurrency has been undergoing a significant consolidation period this time. And I'm going to read the tweet he put. If these two structures look similar, it's because they are. Almost mirror images, except the current consolidation is larger, longer consolidation structure. One, consolidation precedes an expansion. Two, the greater consolidation, the larger expansion that follows XRP. So, <clears throat> replying to the other Twitter users, as Daily Hodl reported, Credible Crypto noted that the move past the $10 mark is not going to happen from this leg of expansion, but instead after more consolidation and expansion periods. Over the next expansion leg, he said the price could come close to or a bit past a new all-time high. Ideally, the analyst added the cryptocurrency could even hit $20 to $30. The price of XRP hit an all-time high near $3.40 in early 2018 has since failed to move over it. The cryptocurrency has depressed time trading at $1.16. While it hasn't surpassed its all-time high, it is up over 300% so far this year. And we could be seeing a $20 XRP, a $30 XRP. Who said that wasn't even possible? 
okay so another uh, article here is crypto is less anonymous than you thought and it might be a good thing to track down the funds authorities would have access the public blockchain ledger that recorded the payment and pulled out the mix of characters that indicated that the digital address that received the money, according to Pamela Clegg, Vice President of Financial Investigations at U.S.-based blockchain forensic firm Cypher Trace, which researches and works with federal authorities in these kind of cases. Within a month, authorities had not only figured out where the funds were being held, but had identified the hackers and managed to recover 63.7 bitcoins, worth about $2.3 million, from affiliates of the hacking group DarkSide. It was really interesting because they actually got their hands on a private key, Clegg told the Financial Post, referring to the unique cryptographic code used to access a cryptocurrency wallet. So this is really an analogous to actually coming in and finding the cash under my mattress. That's why we say you always, always hold your digital assets on your ledger. If you own the keys, it's your crypto. If you don't own the keys, it's not your crypto. So if you can, try to take your cryptocurrency off of these wallets. It's safe to keep it on these wallets, but it's more safer to keep it on your own hardware wallet that's in your hand and only you know the whereabouts. If the government was able to take all that money back 63.7 bitcoins from the hackers what makes you think they can't swipe out all the crypto on these websites on these wallets do you understand what i'm saying the government wants your crypto they want your bags the hackers want your bags so the ha basically the hackers are the new pirates they want your gold they know what you hold what it's worth okay so another article u.s treasury department warns digital currencies are thwarting sanctions efforts okay because there's some states some countries that are taking cryptocurrencies and also other states that are not <clears throat> the U.S. Treasury Department is contending that cryptocurrency stunt sanctions efforts and threaten national security, foreign policy, and economic interests. The warning comes after a six-month Treasury Department review of the country's sanctions program and policies. So this is what it includes. American adversaries and some allies are already reducing their use of the U.S. dollar and their exposure to the U.S. financial system more broadly in cross-border transactions, just like XRP. We must be mindful of the risk that these trends could erode the effectiveness of our sanctions. Second, technological innovations such as digital currencies, alternative payment platforms, and new ways of hiding cross-border transactions are potentially Reduce the efficiency of American sanctions. Third, we are, the report suggests that the Treasury should try to better understand and utilize digital assets to help support sanctions efforts without stifling financial innovation. In particular, the Treasury should invest in deepening its institutional knowledge and capabilities in the evolving digital assets and services space to support the full sanctions life cycle of activities. The United States faces a changing world where financial innovation shifts and in global economic activity and a new geopolitical challenges are redefining how economic power can be used to support national and security objectives. To effectively confront these changes, Treasury must modernize and adapt its sanctions policy and operational framework. Family, these places are not using the US dollar. They're tending to use cross-border payments. You can use VChain, you can use XRP, you can use XLM. You guys are going to witness the greatest transformation of wealth right in front of your eyes. And this is very, very interesting. Very interesting. This is going to happen once in a lifetime. 
all those little booms that you hear people like the Dogecoin millionaire and people who blew off, a, off of Cardano, this is the time to hold on to these digital currencies. If you hold XRP, you are holding the greatest digital asset. Family, you got to stay prepared. You have to stay prepared. And if you hold XRP, you type down below, you are bullish on the new transformation of wealth. Once again, family, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you again in the next clip.